Hello, everybody. My name is Owen. I'm the general manager of Kenzu Morrow. This is going to be for Team 4, and now Austin's going to kick it off with the start of the presentation. Hello, my name is Austin Wang, and I'll be covering a portion of this group presentation for Kenzu Morrow Sushi Restaurant. So I wanted to start by talking about the concept of the restaurant. We decided to go with a Japanese sushi restaurant that incorporates old and new techniques together. We wanted the menu to be constantly changing with seasonality so that it stays fresh and that customers always come back for more. Uh, Kenzo Maru stands for healthy storehouse sh ship. Kenzo standing for healthy storehouse. And we took the ship connotation of the word Maru in Japanese. And this is mostly playing into a play on Japanese words, which after we want, after customers come to our restaurant, we want them to have smooth sailing um, in their endeavors ahead. So we want them to have the best in their future endeavors after they visit our restaurant, after they uh, heal, they can go on to do the things that they want to do. So our menu development, we decided that we wanted to have every menu item in our restaurant to have normal, uh, typical Japanese cuisine dishes that are served at sushi restaurants. We also wanted them to be creative and we wanted them to be new concepts uh, that normal Japanese cuisines don't really take so that customers will be like, oh, that's new. Um, what are they doing at Kenzo Maru this week? Um, <clears throat> such as the Searshin Udon. We wanted to be like, oh, that's something that I've never seen before and done, and it's really delicious, and we want to come back for more. We wanted every aspect of the Japanese menu uh, to scream, that is Japanese food. We, we don't want them to be like, oh, this is not really Japanese. I wouldn't come back because this really doesn't taste uh, what I would expect from a Japanese restaurant. So our guest menu design, we decided to go with a really uh, modern black look. We wanted to incorporate like cherry blossoms and fish to captivate the consumers on the theme of our restaurant. We wanted to still understand that uh, although it may look modern, it is still a Japanese menu and it is still a Japanese restaurant. But we also wanted to keep it very simple. We didn't want it to be too complicated. We didn't want it to be too tiring on the eyes. So instead of the pinkish uh, florals and the fish that you see on the left, we decided to go with something that's a little bit more uh, eye-catching as, as a sense where in contrast with the blackness of the menu background. For the website, we, we decided to take the concept that we had in our guest menu and apply it to the website itself. Going for modern black, but also a tone of red as a Japanese flair to it. Uh, we wanted it to be eye-catching, but not too strain on the eyes. We made it so that the font is not too hard to look at. The restaurant also explains our culture, the endeavors that we want for the community, and also how the team is at Kenzo Maru Sushi Restaurant. And then we also wanted to give away for customers to reach out to us, not only for the survey that will be physically handed out at the restaurant, but also we wanted them to give us feedback online, catch in on the news at what's up at Kenzo Maru. Um, let them know, uh, let us know what they want in their new dishes and their new um, experiences that they want to see at Kenzo Maru uh, the next time they visit. So this year has been very hectic and I have personally enjoyed this class despite how hectic it has been. I've learned a lot. I appreciate the content that the professor has provided us. 
I also appreciate working with my group mates. Teamwork is very important. And I feel like this is the kind of teamwork that I want to have with my future team in the future. Uh, no matter where I go or work. Uh, in the future, I will look to this class as a foundation for the restaurant that I want to own in the future. And I hope that it will be a success because this class and this assignment was a success. Um, so thank you very much. And my, uh, my group mate will present the next part of the lecture. Hello, I'm Jiang Sung and I'm a dining room manager of this team and I'm going to start off with the interior factors of our restaurant. So we wanted to go with a darker color in the restaurant interior for the modern look. You're also looking for a warm color of lighting for the restaurant interior. The charcoal black is a good fit for our restaurant theme on the modern take for the walls or the floor as well. The red can be used on the walls of the restaurant as well to provide a brighter and a bolder exterior to the dark color. And certain areas of the restaurant can have autumn red color to represent the beauty of Japanese fall season or for Japanese representations of the restaurant. For the sushi bar, we'll be using the setup with to establish the traditional style of the presentation with our modern design. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to use the light as a catch point of the interior. We chose several different lightings to add warm atmosphere to the entire uh, interior. During the diner operation, we're going to use the light. Uh, the candle light with the candle cover will be the centerpiece of each table. And the bamboo light shade goes well with the warm light. And we chose the fish shade, bamboo shade as our main light uh, to represent our menu scene. And the last picture shows the warm colored glass cover, which think we, we think it goes well with our light. As using different types of light shades, we can add different interior points, depends on the type of setting. And not just the lighting, but also we will add some modern Japanese sushi art print poster for our interior. The poster has Japanese elements and sushi, which fit the themes of the restaurant well and can add new colors to our restaurant. We will add the neon sign outside the restaurant as a decor to attract customers. A wow factor is something that up and coming restaurants want to be able to catch eyes of the customers from the outside. With a cool nail sign, people drawn in to see what our restaurants offer. And uh, with that one, we're gonna use the chalkboard. We'll let the customer check our operation time and menu from the outside. To do so, we can um, attract customers in more operation, uh, more artistic interior. Uh, as another interior factor and an advertising method, we're going to put selfie wall at the waiting area. We can utilize the selfie wall as a social media advertisement and pretty selfie wall can be an interior factor. And the last picture is our example of how we're going to use the selfie wall as a social media advertisement. So here's our floor plan and the front area we have our entrance and right to the entrance we have the waiting area and the selfie wall and we have four different dining room sections and in between the section these we have the alcohol bar where the customers can enjoy their food while they're looking the bartenders making their drink and the back of the section abc we have the sushi counter bar uh, where the customers can still enjoy their food while they're seeing the sushi chefs making sushi. And in the kitchen, we have different sections like the grill and fryer section, the dish section, and the behind of the kitchen, we have the entrance for the employees. And right side of the entrance, we have the storage for the uh, cleaning supplies and other supplies too. And in front of the storage room, we have the restroom. And this is our organizational plan. Under the GM, we have four different 
uh, managerial position, the dining room manager, bar manager, and the uh, marketing manager and the executive chef. Under the dining room manager, we have 10 servers, three hostess, six busters, and three runners. And under the bar manager, we have the three bartenders. And under the executive chef, we have the three sushi chefs, and we have a one sous chef. And under the sous chef, we have eight line cooks and two dishwashers. And to start with my personal reflection, I would like to thank my teammate that they always put the hard work on the, every single assignment. Without them, this class would be very tough class for me. It was a great time to learn about entire operations of the restaurant from the beginning. I've worked in several restaurants for many years, but I haven't done any managerial position yet. From this class, I could start thinking on the manager's or owner's point of view. Although I do not pursue my career into food and beverage, but I do believe this experience gave me a better idea of managing, and this experience will definitely help me in the future in any managerial position. And I really enjoyed this class, and the only thing I thought it could be better was if we had this class in person and we actually run the restaurant for a day, uh, then I think we could learn more practical materials and have better experience. Hello everyone, my name is Jin Zen from Team 4. Um, our restaurant is a Japanese sushi restaurant. My position is bartender manager. Our restaurant food safety, frozen food keep at temperature 41 all above. Hot food keep at the temperature of 135, 50 to 70 for the dry storage will allow the food to have a standard shelf life. Different area will cater to different type of food. We designed area avoid the risk of cross contamination. Ready to eat food cannot be um, handled with the bare hand. Need to wear glove or use other tools. Food self only contact surface of equipment and utensil that are properly clean and sanitized. Sanitations, all employees must wash hand through warm water bef before and after work um, going to the restaurant. restaurant. Um, well preparing stuff, employees should be wear gloves, all employees should be well groomed and wear clean uniform. Always keep working area clean and sanitized regularly. Cleaning materials separate from the food area. Employees should be contently check the floor to keep it clean and um, during oper operations. After the guests finish the and leave, employees need to defect and wipe the table and chair in time. After touching the mask, employees should be uh, wash their hand and or either change the glove. Guests enter the restaurant need to be have a mask on and take a temperature check by employee. Customer only um, take off their mask when they are in their seat. And if they go somewhere else, they need to wear their mask on. Restaurant will be have enough um, hand sanitizers containing at, uh, at least 60% alcohol place at the entrance and the cash register. For um, um, restaurant marketing, um, to un understanding the customer needs and wants. Um, customer market is based on local people and is more focused on the people willing to pay uh, extra money to experience fresh, good quality, unusual you know, Japanese cuisines to different other with other um, all you can eat sushi restaurant in Las Vegas, we offer an we offer an omakashi menu and other unusual Japanese menu like uh, sakadon, miso black coat and um, si uchang, uchang udon. Um, we also can um, use social media. We can utilize our self selfie wall. We can ask customer to post picture to their social media app and tag our Instagram pages. Also, we can ask them to leave a good comment on Zep if 
they um, satisfied with our service, letting more people to um, know us and visit our restaurant. The menu item that will potentially attract um, current customer to interesting frozen dish. Happy hour, lunch special, and omakashi were planned to attract more potential customer. For the poster, we'll be providing information about our restaurant and highlighting the restaurant still and the select hour. For the advertising um, mode, we have the internet social media. The internet social the, the internet of the thing have in entered people's life and people pay less attention at, on the traditional TV and newspaper. So we use the internet as the media a main advertising investment channel. On the, um, it's such as like, uh, so, um, it's like, um, such as uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. This is more suitable for young people. Consider um, that we have some older or less internet survey user. We still consider placing traditional advertisement on the newspaper, magazine, and television. For our restaurant forecasting for um, three months, total revenue of the, of the food and beverage is 377,628. For the food and beverage cost is 104,855. 4, Personal reflection, I have learned a lot of knowledge from this class, starting to choose a concept thing and creating the menu, menu price, designing restaurant floor plan from uh, front and back. And um, also I am proud of our team, even though we ha only have four people and we still working really well. We always helping each other. We communicate every week. We set up a Zoom meeting to discuss our work. In the future, I can use the knowledge I learned from this class to having my own business. Thank you. Hello, everybody. This is Owen again. So we are going to go into more of the financial side of things uh, towards the end. First, we're going to be talking about our SWOT analysis. We kind of wanted to take two categories from each of them, just so we could show you kind of where uh, Kenzumaro as a whole is sitting in the market. Starting with our strengths, we do have uh, our restaurant dedicated improving the quality and experience of the restaurant for the customers by constantly looking for feedback. So to get those return customers that always want to come back to us, we're always going to keep an open ear, kind of open mind to whatever kind of suggestions they have for us. The restaurant is committed to constantly changing its menu in its omakase. So we do want to be completely uh, really open to new ideas. I know we heard from Austin, he's the head chef, about different uh, kind of ways we want to run it. So we always wanna have new items. Our weaknesses are going to be the prices. With that kind of rotating items that we don't really know what we're going to have until Austin decides on that, the prices can vary kind of uh, frequently from every single time a guest could potentially come in. With the menu constantly changing, uh, sometimes customers will hold on to one kind of item on our menu and then the next time it won't be there. So we kind of have to balance that. So if they love something, we have good alternatives for that. For our opportunities, we are, of course, in Summerlin, as we had mentioned before. There aren't that many Japanese fusion restaurants there, so we always have to keep that in mind that that is going to be a good thing for us. And then, of course, the fishing seasons that, uh, of course, happen in the world are always going to be changing. And so we can really uh, take whatever fish that is being offered that season and really uh, kind of accept it into our menu and then be able to serve it to our guests. For our threats, we do have uh, Kenzu Maro kind of battling the dreaded opening up of a restaurant as every single restaurant has had before us. So that will be nothing new for us. But at the second bottom thing is going to be our concept. Our concept is what really drives us to be different. And so uh, with a different restaurant opening, others are going to want to see our success and try to do it and duplicate it for themselves. Going over our pro forma PNL, this is pulled directly from Jenny's forecasting. So starting with the revenue at 
377,000. We can kind of see the prime cost being uh, estimated at around 159,000. And then of course the total expenses being 64,000. That puts our profit for our estimated three month period at 153,833 and 88 cents. So in my mind, that's a very good place to be. And uh, we can kind of compare it to the actual three month period. In the three month period, our profit was actually 151,112 and 71 cents. That was only around 3000 off. So that's amazing. I think we really nailed it on this one just because we were able to get a lot of the cost, even with all the variances that were thrown towards our group. The largest one was this food sales and it was a decrease of the variance of 1.3%. So that right there is going to be that first section right in revenue. So that was kind of where we were hit the hardest. It was around 33,000, which we'll go into the next slide. And if you look towards the very bottom, we do have some of the uh, uh, weaker prime costs right there in the middle, just because uh, we estimated them to be a little bit uh, better than that. With our analysis, we can kind of look uh, at that food revenue again. The most change was around $30,000 off. This could lead to... Uh, really immense amount of things. We are a very, very brand new restaurant. This is our three month period. So it could be that we're just coming out of a pandemic. So we know that restaurants are still trying to get their ground. So that could be a reason. And then when we look at our labor costs, that was another thing that went down around $2,200, which is pretty substantial if anyone's ever worked in a place of work. And that's because of, I think we overbit the bullet a little bit and staffed a few too many people, but that's okay. We're still learning, uh, but I'm glad we estimated uh, more allocated to the labor costs instead of less, because that would have hurt us even more than a little bit of a bonus. Uh, every single month that could vary very much. It's not going to be locked down to 22 less. Of course, with the uh, kind of holiday months, it could be more than that, could be less, but it's always good to keep this on record for this uh, three month period. So next year with the three month period, we can kind of gauge it from there. So with our food and beverage costs, we can kind of see the variance just due to spoilage, excessive inventory, as well as some of the sushi chefs maybe being new and not really using the standardized recipe. So going over my personal reflection, I will say since day one, I am a hotel kid. Food and beverage is not my forte. So I was the one designated to turn things in and of course be the general manager. But some of the aspects I know with the PNL statements, kind of the organizational charts, that's going to be beneficial for really any industry that I'm going to be working in. So I enjoy this class a lot. I really enjoyed my group. I think we did an amazing job. And even though I will never step foot in a restaurant with a full head knowing exactly that I'm going to be working there, I, of course, will take all of these lessons to heart. Thank you so much. And then, of course, we have been Team 4. This has been Kenzie Morrow, and we look forward to getting through the rest of the pandemic with you guys. Have a good day.